Hello, Guildmast here, and welcome to Project Cars 2. With the release of the Ford vs. Ferrari movie coming out November 15th, I thought, why not recreate it here in Project Cars 2? So, of course, the movie is based off the 1966 24 hour of Le Mans, where Ford won its first constructors. So, uh, why don't we try to do the same thing? We are, of course, driving the Ford Mark IV GT40. Um, this is the 1967 version, so we're one year off here on Project Cars 2, but it's the same thing, basically. 360 kilometers per hour top speed, rear-wheel drive, V8, four-speed H pattern, and, of course, we're going to be versing other guys in the vintage prototype P, like the Ferrari P30 and uh, some other guys. So we got the Le Mans Vintage Hour, a vintage track, um, 30 opponents max level and I'm gonna start in the last position uh, I decided why not we do five laps around here um, it is a pretty uh, long circuit of course Le Mans and especially uh, the vintage one here is not an easy one as well uh, it does have a very long straight though so I uh, will see you on the track all right, we're beginning our rolling start right now. P31, last position, vintage Le Mans. Try to dive into the chicane, bump our way through without hitting too many guys here. Don't want any aero damage. Some guy hit the tires. There must be a horribly damaged car up ahead then. And uh, we can get up into turn one, the right-hander uphill. These guys are hitting the brakes for some reason. What's going on? Up to the Dunloop tire sign though, and down the hill. Dunloop, down, dip. We're gonna brake nice and early. Just because our brakes are still fresh. And hopefully cut through the inside. Onto the outside now, and uh, passing these guys. Try to get a good exit for the main straight here. And uh, we're doing okay so far onto the main straight, the back straight. The reason why Le Mans is so famous. What is this? Over one minute long. We're going to be reaching about 350 kilometers per hour. And uh, this isn't some nice paved tarmac. We're on some very bumpy French roads. 1960s French roads. Oh, uh, actually, these roads were probably built earlier, right? So. We're getting a lot of slipstream though. We're going at almost six and a half thousand RPM. Slipstream past a bunch of other Fords. We're actually going to go into P10 up 21 positions in just one minute 30. Going to the right hander now. Ooh, and a big crash. I'm hitting the brakes. What's happening? Can't see a thing. Slip right through. Oh my. That was too crazy. Some cars still crashing behind us. I had to break all the way into third gear there, and I could probably break nice and late here. Hopefully, they don't get rear ended. This car is not very good at turning, and green flag for sector three here. Well, I don't even know if this is the start of sector three. I don't know where the sectors are. Um, you'll remember from the map, maybe. But P4 now, first place, four seconds ahead of us. Onto more very fast road. Uh, looks like we are catching up to the Porsche 908 06s, 03s. I forgot what they're called. But uh, they were built in 1971, all I know is that. And I got a 1967 Ford, so make of that what you will onto the dirt. That's no big deal. Helps me turn. Gotta use it. And, uh, yeah, this car cannot turn. It has about 180 degrees of steering rotation. I mean, that's good when the only thing you want to do is, uh, drive straight and have little movement. But, uh, there are turns here at Le Mans. But, uh, I don't think I have that much damage. I think I'm doing good so far. Onto the uphill slidey right-hander. We'll see how that is affected. Not too bad. We're kind of catching to the Porsches. I'm going to slow down, though, because... My car is feeling a little slidey right now. Into third gear. Let's check what's been happening. A lot of aero damage. Minor aero damage, but still enough to affect. Oh, cut that chicane. 
That's okay, race control. I didn't, I didn't do nothing bad. Yep, see? <laughs> they followed me. Uh, all three Porsches ahead of me, also known as the Batmobile. That dude, Look at that. Does that not look like the Batmobile right now? Getting up right behind onto the downhill. I'm probably going to break here. These guys are way faster than me through these corners. But I think I have a higher top speed. And then maybe I can use that to my advantage. Hopefully get into their slipstream. Over one second ahead. Not close enough, but hopefully I can gain here. And uh, I can see how affected my top speed is by the damage. This is only lap two of five. Time progression is at 60 times, so uh, the sun should be setting. And uh, I don't know how much it'll go down, but passing the Batmobile Porsche quite easily through there and uh, just two more to go and hopefully we can hold the lead here against this uh, cheating AI they're very hard look at that zoom in past these guys like how they're going way slower that's quite insane let me stay in the right lane so they don't get my slipstream and hopefully well I don't have to slow down for the right hander because there's no one crashing ahead of me Lots of shade through there. Some tires left behind. Three tires. I do not want to hit any of those. Um, I didn't really check my top speed was affected. I do know is... I will get rear-ended here. Don't hit me, bro. Looks like another Ford, though. Catching up right behind. And the two Porsches behind him. I think some Fords were the ones taken out. <laughs> at that uh, right-hander incident. This is why we have <laughs> two chicanes now in the straight, probably. The sun is in our eyes on lap two here. I think 60 times, 60 times time progression is a little too much for this race, but... I did break a little early there, but it is to be very safe. Of course, the Le Mans... 24 hours, it's not about speed, it's about endurance. And uh, back then in the 60s, I'm pretty sure like less than half actually completed Le Mans, so all 24 hours. That's why it was a big deal for Ford to win and beat Mr. Enzo Ferrari. Haven't seen much Ferraris, just the two Porsche, three Porsches, and a, a Ford GT40 with us. And uh, just like just like Mr. T Ford and Team Shelby, we can uh, finish. I think they got all three, like, top three spots at least. So uh, maybe we can recreate that again with a bunch of other Fords here. I s went into fourth gear accidentally, no big deal. He's turning on his headlights, I'll turn on my headlights, why not? Night time is falling, a three minute... Well, something about reference points, night time, I have no idea what he said. Getting a little slidey at the Dunloop dip. I think my top speed is affected. The thing I did forget is that as night falls, so does the temperature. So I think I have to be a little careful. The Ford blasting past me, but it shouldn't actually be a big deal because hopefully I got a good exit here and on the straight I can slipstream past them. The Porsches don't have headlights. What's that all about? Um, if I was ahead of him, he would have slipstreamed right past me and uh, I would have been side by side probably and get the side draft eventually, but now I can get the uh, the slipstream and uh, rubber band passed him. The Porsches are way behind. Now I do have to pass him before the right-hander though, because that's going to be quite dangerous passing him quite easily at 6,000 RPM only, so my top speed has definitely been affected. I would be at 6,500 RPM. He's not behind me. You can see the sparks flying. The amount of downforce that is being created uh, from these top speeds Ooh, and I think I hit a wheel there. 
I, I let off the gas because uh, that was a bit dangerous through there, but... Okay, bro, you don't have to go that slow. That's just dumb. How did he even break more? He knew that would damage me. Look at that. A lot of arrow damage now. This is going to affect me greatly. But I think in that first uh, big crash there, a lot of the Fords were uh, crashed out. And the Ford is definitely the fastest car here. Of course, just like in the 1966 Grand Prix. So, quite unfortunate. But... Let's try to catch up through the corners at least. I did not cut that at all. That's... That's crazy to think that. My brakes have been overheating a bit. My engineer has been complaining. But uh, I think we're still good. Oil temperature, pressure, water temperature. Everything's all good so far. And uh, hopefully we can get past this guy. Luckily I have no penalties. Apparently I've been doing a slower lap because, you know, my top speed has been affected. I would be in fourth gear right now. So, uh... I'm definitely going a little slow here, yeah. I would be in fourth gear for sure. Nighttime is really falling. And, uh, it is hard to see through there. There is not much ambient lighting going on. And I don't know if I'll be able to win this. But, like I said, I don't really need to win. <laughs> I just need to complete Le Mans. Everyone's still up here. They've been here like 12 hours. Can't really see who's crashed out. Looks like three cars have crashed out. And uh, I've never raced here at night. All my practice has been in the day, of course. So this is all brand new. I've never, never really gone here before. Maybe shifted a little early there, but drifting through the exit. And he is definitely gaining from me. Well, that's fine. Now I have no idea where uh, Ford started. We all know in Le Mans they all rush to their cars to start the race. I don't know if they do that anymore. I mean they must do right? It's, it's a tradition. And they all start from the pits. So I don't think there was qualifying back then. And uh, no rolling starts. It was of course more safer to do a rolling start. That's why they would do it but I'm not too aware of the fact. First place is just getting way ahead of me. I'm at 5,500 RPM. A whole 500 RPM down. And the Porsches... Well, I don't know if those are Porsches behind me. I think they're finally some Fords catching up, though. Because of how slow I'm going. I mean, I'm still creating lots of downforce here. The sparks are flying. And uh, I can't even see the right-hander right now. Where is it at? It's right here. Yup, that's a Ford. And he just zoomed past me. Into third position. Podium. You know, that would be good. Yeah, but I don't know where Ford started. I don't know where Ferrari started. I don't want to get rear-ended here. So, whatever we do would be good. I just want to at least do the race here. And uh, I've never raced at Vintage Le Mans. Done a full good old race here through the night, through the morning. So it's very interesting to do. At least my front headlights aren't broken though. That's a plus, I guess. I haven't even been going into fourth gear that much. That's how slow, like, I am right now because of my aero damage. Hopefully, race control doesn't get mad at me again. How'd they even know back then? They didn't have cameras. I feel like people be really be cheating. Ooh, can barely do that turn. Don't want to hit the dirt like last time. But we're still good here. I, I think it's like only lap 3 too, so I'm going to have to fend off fourth position for a long time. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that through the straight. Because uh, this guy up ahead of me passed me in the straight, and then now he is gone, so... It's also affecting my downforce quite a bit. 
It was getting quite dangerous. Trying to pass me on the very dangerous turning little parts. The little slalom of corners, I should say. Surprise, he tried to pass me. My brakes, what happened to my brakes? Or my tires, something. This car does not like it. Final lap, apparently. Looks like four cars are out now. Who knows what happened there. No yellow flags for us, though. And up, uphill, it uh, looks like I'm getting some dirty air causing me to slide through here. But uh, doing okay for now. Luckily, survived that corner. When you're going downhill so fast, it really ha is hard to stop. My brake something. I think my suspension might have got a little messed up there when I rear-ended that guy who was going was way too slow. 100% did that on purpose, but uh, yeah, I'm just losing this guy. They're going way too fast for me. All because of just minor aero damage. Because this circuit is so fast, it's enough to affect you greatly. And then now another pass is happening. And hopefully, you know, I can at least stay close enough to get some slipstream. Okay, that was a little messed up. I think my suspension is damaged. I can feel the bumpiness way more. And I'm just getting passed. I feel like a Haas F1 car. This guy just rear-ending me. What are you doing, bro? What is happening? I'm just getting rear-ended. I didn't even try to block that guy. I know you're only allowed, allowed like one movement. I'm, it's not even under braking either. So I should be able to move as I want. And I'm really getting passed by everyone through here. But it's whatever. With a damaged car, like it's the most I can do. At least I was in fourth gear. I think my br front brakes are just gone, or my front tires. Because I can definitely feel a lot more locking up. And it's probably because of my little front... I think my front right suspension definitely feels a little off. But uh, this is my last chance to get by anybody. I'm doing some real slow laps here, but... It's whatever. I've shifted into fourth gear, quite surprisingly. Like, all oh, these tires are not gripping onto the road. Something's definitely messed up. But just in time, the morning sun is rising. We started this race at 1 o'clock, or 13 o'clock, I should say. Gone through the night, and it's uh, now in the morning. Good time to end the race. Looks like we're going to be P7. This guy is a Porsche right behind us, and they're all fours ahead of us. Eight seconds slower because of my aero damage. That's quite a lot slower. I just need to finish this last area. The slalom, the very difficult slalom too, I should say. It's not easy, okay? And uh, we're gonna reach the end here. I can turn off my headlights. Maybe that'll give me some extra speed here. Ooh, I braked really late. I, I hit the brakes and my foot fell off. But there we go. Vintage Le Mans with the Ford GT40 Mark IV. Look at my tires. They definitely got destroyed. But we have a whole Fords. All Fords in the top seven there. And uh, I don't know if Team Shelby. No, no Team Shelby here. I think Team Shelby is a, a red car forward and uh, it's not even in the race in the first place but we beat Enzo Ferrari that's all that matters a Lotus beat Ferrari so quite interesting race a big crash at the very beginning almost ruined it all but uh you know Ford versus Ferrari that's what it was like back in 1966 very difficult racing way harder than uh today's so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see ya